Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kitty Cosmetics. Thank you for clicking on this video, and today I'm going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January. But before the video starts, could you please subscribe because I have a goal of 150 subscribers by the end of the year, and I need your help to get there. I would also really appreciate it if you liked the video because it helps a lot, and comment down below any new video ideas you would like to see in the future. So, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly subscription box full of around five makeup items. And this is what it looks like, the box. This It's the same box every month, every month. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to start with the first product and everything. But um, this is the card. This is what it looks like. The theme this month is Fresh Start. And on the back has all the information on the products and the prices. Um, but first we have this Pharmacy Deep Sweep Pore Cleaning um, Toner. Which this is really big. There's a lot that comes with this. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is a glass bottle. This is what it looks like and it has a stopper in there. When I first used this, I, I thought it was one of those things that you push down and it puts it like on the product. I was like, why isn't it working? But it's just a stopper and you take that out. There you go and you take that out. Not a lot comes out at a time. Um. You're not supposed to use a ton of this, but not a lot does come out at once. Um, but I've used this twice now, and I haven't really seen a difference. Like I've said in a few of my other videos, you really need to use skincare quite a few times to actually really be able to see a difference and form an opinion on the product. So I can't really say much about it now, but it hasn't done anything bad to my skin. I haven't, like broke out because of it um and but I haven't really seen any difference and it's not really benefited my skin yet but I'll keep using it and I'll see how this works out um and this product is $28 so it's a, it's a lot of products for not a very expensive price I thought this would be a lot more expensive for how much there is but it's actually quite affordable so all right the next product is this Bali balm which is a lip balm and it's in the flavor uh or like scent flavor I guess um <laughs> sweet orange and coconut I've used this a few times you can definitely really smell the orange it's a very very strong scent and it's a very thick balm um, but it's actually not that moisturizing, honestly. I've used it a few times, and shortly after, my lips have gotten dry again. So it works for a little bit, but it doesn't really keep them moist your lips moisturized for very long. And this is actually very expensive. This is $33, which is really expensive for a lip balm. And to be completely honest, I don't really suggest going out and getting this. It's a very strong fragrance, so if you like fragrance you might like this but it's very strong and not that moisturizing so I wouldn't really suggest it. Uh, the next product is this Dr. Brandt uh, triple peptide eye cream and this is what it looks like. Oh that's the back. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I actually shortly like two days before I got my box I threw away my eye cream that I had because it had gotten old and like expired. So I threw it away and then I got this. I was like, well, what a coincidence. Also, ignore my nails. They look really bad. This is what it looks like. A really decent amount. You don't need a lot of eye cream. You only need a little bit. Um, but this is what it looks like. I've only used this once because you don't want to use this a ton because... It's not great for your skin, but uh, this is supposed to help with like wrinkles and dark circles. So far, I haven't seen much of a difference, but again, you really need to use skincare a lot before actually seeing a big difference. 
Um, I don't even really see a little difference, but I have only used this once, so I definitely need to use this more. Um, but this is $82, which is definitely very expensive. This is not a cheap product. Um, this brand is not really a cheap brand either, and eye creams are normally really expensive, so... It is very expensive, and I don't know if I could say I suggest going to get it out, going to get it right now, because I haven't seen any difference with it, but yeah, that's this product. Then we have this Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo in the shade, I guess, Heart of Gold. Um, There's two in here. This is what they look like. They're very similar shades. They're like the same color, but this one's just darker. I haven't used this one yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be too dark for my skin tone. But I used this one today. It is really nice. It's very, like, golden. Um, and it wasn't super pigmented either. I had to go in a few times. But it is really nice. I do really like this. And this is $33. I can't really say either with this one I would suggest going to get it because again I'm pretty sure this shade is too dark for me um and this shade I have other stuff like that color that are more pigmented so and it is quite an expensive product for just two highlighters so I don't really know if I would suggest to go and get it but if you want to try it out you can definitely go and buy it I'm not stopping you from buying it if you want to get it I just don't suggest it. The last product is the Ciate London The Velvet Palette. Uh, this packaging feels really nice. It's like very smooth. I don't really know how to describe it, but it feels really good. Um, that's what the packaging looks like. And this is what the palette looks like. It's very pretty, very reflective. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. Um, there's five mattes, I believe, and seven shimmers, so that's 12 eyeshadows? Yeah, okay, I can't do math. But yeah, 12 eyeshadows, five mattes, seven shimmers, and to be completely honest, I was underwhelmed by this. When I saw it, I thought it was going to be really pretty. The shimmers do look really pretty though. Um, I used this shade, this shade, and this shade, and I tried this shade, but it was way too light. It didn't show up at all. Um, and to be completely honest, these shades were not very pigmented at all. I was really underwhelmed. They weren't very pigmented. I have them on my eyes today. See how they're how dark they look in the pan, and then how light they are on the eye. They were just not really pigmented, um, and the shimmer wasn't really shimmery at all. It definitely doesn't look like one of the more shimmery shades in here, so I do want to try some of the other shimmers because they do look nice, but honestly, it was just okay. It wasn't very pigmented and just not my favorite. I wouldn't... Um, this is $30 as well, and again, I wouldn't really suggest you go out and get this um so based off of everything this box was all right the only thing i really suggest going and getting is this but again i don't really know how this works super well because i haven't used it a lot so honestly this box was okay it was a lot of skincare i do prefer to get more makeup just because that's what i enjoy to do more um, but skincare is nice. You do need skincare if you're gonna do a makeup. Makeup, a good skincare routine is good to have so you don't break out. But honestly, this box was all right. It definitely wasn't my favorite boxy charm box I've ever gotten. But I'm not like super disappointed about it. I do like these products. I just don't. It's mainly I don't really think they're worth the price of it. If a bunch of these products were a lot cheaper. I might say you could go and I might suggest going out and get it because some of these products are okay and are pretty nice they're just really really expensive so but that was my video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did 
please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video and comment down below any new video ideas you would like to see in the future and thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.